how to use polygon metamask hi guys welcome back today i'm giving you a tutorial on how to use polygon network on metamask so let's get started getting a polygon network on your metamask wallet is really easy and that's what i will cover today i will show you everything this is going to be a beginner's tutorial if you want to add a polygon network to your metamask so let's get started with the process first what you have to do is you will require a metamask wallet if you do not have metamask then what you have to do is you will simply go to metamask.io and then you can click on download for chrome so if you're using chrome then it will be really easy and you can add the metamask extension then you will click on add to extension you can see i already have it on my chrome so that is why it says remove but you will click on add to chrome and then add extension metamask extension like i have it right here in my extensions and then you can also pin your metamask extension so that you can access it really easily on any of the different websites nft websites or crypto websites wherever you are using metamask so once you have a metamask wallet uh, you just need to create a wallet and set up a password uh, then you will get your metamask and you can see right here this is my metamask i have opened it up and this is the default network that we get we get ethereum on metamask but we can add more networks and we can add a polygon network as well polygon works on ethereum and is actually fast and has less gas fees sometimes when we're buying nfts and then it is also secure for the environment so we switch on polygon on ethereum sometimes just to access more features and more nfts and everything so you can see right here we are on ethereum right now this is ethereum so to add polygon you have to go to this option right here where you can see your mainnet so in networks you will find ethereum and other networks that you have added and then you will get the add network option so you have to click on this one it will take you to add network option right here in your settings and you can see we can add a new network and we're gonna add matic network which is going to be polygon first of all network name so the network name is going to be matic there you go then we have new rpc url so to get the url for your polygon what you have to do is you will simply go to docs.polygon.technology or you can search on google for a polygon network and the first website that will open up is going to be a polygon website and then in docs.polygon.technology you will be able to get your link so if i just scroll down a little bit there it is you can see uh, so the network name we have already added and then we have this url which is the rpc for our polygon so all you have to do is you just have to copy and paste so i have copied this url and i'm gonna paste it here so you can see right here that we have this uh, url right here this is a polygon rpc next we have chain id so the chain id for polygon is 137 for currency symbol you can again go with matic or polygon it doesn't matter you can type whatever you want uh, but symbol is actually matic so you can just type in matic and then we have a block explorer url which is optional if you want to add it you can go ahead and add this url as well it is also available on our you know dot polygon dot technology this one but we can leave this one it's it's just like optional and i'm gonna not add this and click on save and there you go you have polygon on metamask you can see i have my polygon network this is our symbol and it says zero matic and now i have a new network you can see matic was successfully added so it literally takes one minute for you guys to add a polygon network to your metamask so this is our you know polygon now and you can see if i go to the networks i will be able to see matic right here keep in mind we can switch to other networks anytime we want it's okay for example if i want to switch to ethereum i can do that if i want to go back to metic then i can do that as well so when you're connecting your metamask to your you know nft marketplace or any crypto platform where you need to use polygon then keep in mind to switch your network to metic 
and then you will be able to you know buy and sell crypto swap and, and send crypto whatever you want to do on polygon so now you know how to add a polygon network to metamask now using metamask is really easy all the networks work the same we have the buy option send and swap so if i go to the swap option it will allow me to now swap from polygon to any other token i want so what we can do is we can select the token here first we have matic usdt ethereum solana ftm mana then we have others as well so you can just select the one you want i'm gonna go with this one matic let's say and i want to switch my polygons to ethereum or let's say i want to change them to usdt or for instance i want to change my solana into matic i want to change my ethereum into matic so we can just like swap really easily you have to enter your amount right here first uh you know deposit the funds into your wallet and then you can swap your currencies so what we can do is we can enter the amount let's just go with maybe 100 so 100 matic is right now at the time of making this video 86 dollars so i'm gonna actually increase it to thousand and it's going to be 860 dollars and you can see it updates every second so this is the price at the time of making this video and now i will be able to simply you know swap these two tokens there are advanced options available as well that allows us to select the slip page of tolerance now i'm gonna click on review swap and then i will be able to swap my tokens easily using metamask then we have the buy option. So I'm going to click on buy and again we can buy crypto and what we can do is we can interact with decentralized application using MetaMask. Uh, you'll need a Matic in your wallet. So add Matics to your wallet and what you can do is then you can actually you know deposit uh, from wire and then we have MoonPay and then we have deposit Matic directly. Now this is also why we go with Matic because we can actually deposit them directly. You will just click on view account and it will open it up. If I click on my profile now, you can see I have a Matic. So if you want to create another account on your MetaMask, you can create another account and you can again have your Polygon network on that account as well. So we can do that too. If I go to settings again, so this is where we add different networks. You can see primary currency right now is Matic. So I can just, you know, a select native or to prioritize displaying value in the native currency so this is about the main currency we see on our network so which is like right now i have selected metic if we go to the advanced right here i will be able to get more options to my metamask so you can check them out here for example to check out the advanced gas controls we have conversion on test controls customize a transaction and auto locker timers as well when it comes to the different networks you will be able to check all the networks right here if i go to networks you can see i have these networks uh, i have ethereum i have binance and Avanci, and then we have matic so this is the network i'm using right now and these are all the details for the network if i want to create another network let's say what i can do is i can just click on add a network again and here i can add any network not just polygon or matic i can add any network i want so you will be able to access them here and it will show you all the networks that you have so this is how you use metamask and this is how you use polygon metamask it's really easy to simply uh, you know add a polygon network to your metamask and once you have added it you can go ahead and access it really easily now i can go ahead and enjoy buying crypto and buying nfts on polygon this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you guys and now you know how to use polygon metamask don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below turn on bell notification and subscribe to the youtube channel